Aquarius energy. I have Aquarius, I have Scorpio, I have um, Taurus, you know. This person is down bad, guys, for real. You know, I wouldn't reject. This is how I am. I didn't used to cut people off. I didn't, I didn't believe in that, you know. Didn't even know how to do that. You know, people would do me something. I would wait two or three years. Well, I guess I would cut them off, depending on what they did. And I'd take them back in. I used to always let people back in my life that had hurt me, okay? I found out I would never do that again because it only gets worse. And at that point, you may be letting somebody back in because of your heart. But that person may take it as, oh, she a dummy. She gullible. Oh, she's stupid. Well, gullible and stupid the same shit. But, you know, oh, I can use her now. That's for real, for real. I'm telling y'all that shit for real. You know, me and my husband, when I was married, was going through a lot of shit. And I would take him back or forgive him for fucking around. And you know what I'm going to tell you? I don't give a fuck if the world do know this. Because I'm going to be real. You know what? Every time I got back in that situation, it got worse and worse and worse. And every time he had a new fucking excuse. I'm, <laughs> I'm, you, I'm serious. And I could never be in a situation like that again because I'm not the same person. So... I have zero tolerance. I mean, zero tolerance. Real shit. So, it's like, okay, certain things you say, you ain't got to tell that, guys. You ain't even got to get mad. Because this I do know, God will not lead you or steer you wrong. Bag up and then give it to God. But he say, I make your enemy your what? Your footstool. When I walked away from people, I didn't say a word. And you know what I believe in? You never let a motherfucker see you sweat. Okay, guys. But real talk on some real shit, though. Y'all see my chunky table. But on some real stuff, guys. This guy want to come back in your life. He don't know how to come back in your life. It's up to you guys if you take him back in your life. But he wants to do right this time. He's taking his whooping as we speak. Holy Divine Spirit, the Temperance Angel, got him. Okay, and he's learned or he's learning his lesson because whatever he did to other people, it didn't impact him like what he did to you. Okay, you were somehow special in this person's life. Only you know that. But he never told you how special you were. He thought that you were making him feel something he never felt before. So he brought it off as being fake. Oh, this is corny. I don't do this romance shit. That's, not, that's what I'm hearing. But now he's begging your forgiveness. Yeah. He wants to make love to you. He wants to kiss you. He wants to hold you. All that. Okay, guys. So again, I don't know your situation. It depends on how bad it is. But I don't feel like it's a bad energy. I feel like it's very remorseful energy, very sad energy. Um, this person is like self-destructing by drinking. Um, I don't know what other kind of, I don't sense any drugs or anything, but I sense drinking. This person drinks brown liquor. Okay. Sometimes clear, but he has a Pacific clear drink, liquor that he drinks. Okay. But seriously, though, it's up to your discernment, okay? But this is just a quick reading. Oh, and he said, please, I'm begging your forgiveness. He said, I really regret that night. Yeah. I regret all that I've done. I regret listening to people. Guys, leave it in the comment box if this resonates. Okay? So, I did. Really, I came on just to talk to you guys. But I ended up doing a quick reading. So, next time, I'm just going to put this down. And I have to, matter of fact, when I go walk, I'm going to go to the store and get like a little thingy. To where y'all can see my whole top of my body. Because this is not right. 
<laughs> okay, guys, love you. Love you, love you, love you. Thanks for putting up with me. Light and love.